Hi, I'm Sarah Swan and um, I help people with their mental health and I thought today we would talk about ghosting. <laughs> so, um, ghosting for those who don't know is this term um, mostly directed at dating and um, you know with guys and girls that essentially just vanish. Poof! Um, and um, I thought I would talk about this. And um, what you can do if you are in this situation, how to get closure. So ghosting is essentially, yes, it's essentially someone you're trying to get to know and um, it seems fine on your end and then all of a sudden, bam, gone. It can happen in relationships, but it can also happen in any relationships. It can happen with jobs even. Um, it can happen in everyday life. It can happen with your friends. Um, it's basically something where someone just disappears randomly. And um, for those that are like me, that um, I've been working on abandonment stuff, it can trigger up a lot of old emotions. Um, and um, it might cause you to need some closure. So, but it doesn't feel really good, right? Um, and um, one of the biggest issues is that you don't, if you, let's say you're in a romantic relationship and it seems to be going well, well, unlike a breakup, which allows you to kind of get some kind of closure, um, that doesn't exist in this because the person just disappears. Sometimes they come back, but they just disappear. Um, and and it's like, it's hard because you, you want to reach out to them, you want to find out why, but um, sometimes they block you. And um, if that happens, it's like, how do you get closure? And um, also why, you know? So I think reasons why could be maybe they on their end justify that the relationship wasn't going anywhere. Um, or maybe they're feeling hurt. Um, or maybe they have had past wounds, you know, stuff in the past that caused them to react the way they reacted. Um, because everyone is coming from their point of view. Most likely they're not thinking about you. They're thinking about them. Also, I think it's very immature. Um, if they're doing that, um, obviously they're not able to face their, their self. They're not able to face the other person. And I feel like it's really disrespectful. Um, if you were the girl or guy on the end that um, got basically abandoned or left behind, um, you know, got ghosted, um, recognize that they're the ones who broke the relationship. It's not your job to fix it. Do not chase them. Um, and this is coming from a girl who essentially tried, but um, a few times, but um, yeah. <laughs> but do not do that. So what can you do to get closure? Um, how can you, how, how can you get closure? Especially when it seems like there's no closure. Um, so I have a few tips. Um, one thing is to really sit with your emotions. So if you're like me, um, sometimes you have emotions come up. I often have emotions surrounding abandonment. And so I've had cases where I've had a lot of abandonment come up. And so I had to sit with them. And I knew that it had to do with relationship, but I also knew it had to do with more. And I allowed myself to sit with it, to grieve essentially, um, to feel sad, to feel angry, you know, to feel angry at the other person essentially. Um, and allow myself to feel those feelings because once you are feeling those feelings, um, you can kind of, you don't want to stay stuck of course, but once you feel those feelings, you're able to kind of go and um, let go of it eventually and accept it and then move on um, So definitely um, and also remember like what story are you telling yourself? What meaning are you giving this because a lot of times we give meaning to something that causes our suffering or We're telling this story about it um, Maybe if he for example or she leaves you you might be saying I'm unlovable or you might be saying, I'm not worth it. Or every guy I know will leave me. And so you're unconsciously picking guys that will leave you. Or you're picking guys that are unavailable in some way that will leave you. And so when you um, figure out those stories and the meaning you're giving them, 
it allows you to kind of tap more into yourself um, and to know yourself more and as you know yourself more um, you can pick better people essentially that won't do that um, so um, some like very basic things you can do is you can journal that helps you kind of tap into your emotions you can also write a letter I think this is a great idea you write a letter to that person you don't send it of course um, but you write a letter and you write everything you're feeling and that actually allows you to get closure and at the end make sure you say goodbye or so long or something um, that allows it to be final and then if you want you can burn it you can rip up the letter um, uh, you can uh, and also like the other thing is to get closure you can also like if let's say there's text messages um, or there's all these messages that they sent you you can delete those um, because your goal is to not think about the other person. Um, thinking about them, researching about them, and uh, trying to figure out why excessively is is causing your energy to go in that direction rather than in yourself. And it's just not going to get you anywhere. If they left you, they left you for a reason. Now, it could be that maybe they actually did get in an accident or they did get hurt. Um, but most of the time, I don't think that is. Um, so... And I know that's hard. That's <laughs> hard to hear. Um, so um, you can also call a friend. Um, that really helps. And just talk out your feelings, especially if you're like me. I'm not very. I'm introvert a little bit, but I'm mostly extrovert. And I need friends to kind of talk to you about, and they give their perspective, and and it kind of helps you kind of go through the grieving process again. You can also post on a Facebook group. I belong to many Facebook groups that are about relationships. Well, just um, there's two that I really really like, but um, you can post a question, and then all of a sudden people will give you answers. Um, um, I always come from attachment point of view and so I often like look at attachment and this idea of self-love and self-worth um, and and looking at it from that point of view and they'll give you really great advice um, it helps you and it just helps you kind of like go through it and grieve it um, so another thing you can do is you can focus on yourself you are worthy um, there's been girls guys that are the most beautiful girls, um, they're very intelligent, they're very smart, um, they're very loving and caring, and then the guy that they're with just randomly leaves them. Now, it doesn't mean that you're not worthy, or you're not lovable, or you're not beautiful. It just means that the guy is going through something, or the girl, whoever, um, is going through something. And they did it for their own personal reasons, just remember that. Um, so focus on yourself. Um, you are lovable. Give yourself self-love. Give yourself care. Um, work on, take a course that builds your self-esteem if you need to do that. Um, look for, um, do stuff that you're passionate about. Um, so for me, I do art. So I paint. Or I play an instrument. Um, spend time with your friends. Just do something that allows you to kind of take your mind off of it. I'm not saying to not grieve. I think grieving is very very good but also do stuff that allows you to kind of like be centered into yourself um, and so as you because imagine this is this this is the hurt right that you got from this guy or girl you know ghosting you right well imagine this is the hurt and this is the whole circle around it well if you add more things things that you're passionate about and start working on yourself and friends and all of a sudden that circle gets bigger and then the grief it's still there but it gets a little smaller or it looks smaller in perspective um again let go of the other person um don't research them um don't text them don't leave voicemails i know this is hard it really is because you get in those moods where you just want to you suddenly start missing them but that person is not coming to you and they're showing you your, they're showing you their colors. Um, granted, if they come back, you can decide whether to take them back or not. But um, if you're like me, um, I know that I want someone who can commit, and I want someone who is available. And um, if they can't do that, then I don't want them because it just causes you pain. So think about that as well. Um, Another thing you can do along with working on yourself 
is follow your mission, your passion, like what you want to do in life, your purpose, your career. Tap yourself into that and that will help. Also, a big thing is what lesson did you get out of this? What did you learn about yourself? Um, be grateful for your experience. Um, for me, um, I've had really great experiences in this case, you know. Um, it taught me a lot about myself, of who I am, and how I reflect back in the world. Because um, we, we ultimately manifest the person, we attract the person for who we're being in the moment. And who we see is actually an essence of who we are um, and what we're doing. And so if you look at the other person, you can be like, oh, well, he was doing this. Am I doing this? Does this reflect me in any way? Um, why is, you know, so because we're all energy. I believe we're all energy and we manifest what we need to heal, essentially. And we manifest what we need, what we are, you know. Um, learn from the past. So, again, with my case, I, I'm pretty much, I'm, I'm like, you know, if I meet a guy like that that I think could potentially do that, then my my antennas are up and I'm like, do I want to be with this guy because this will give me hardship in the future. So choose guys that are better and more available. Um, so and also just learn from it. Um, another thing you can do is, well, pretty much that's I think that's my whole list. <laughs> um, but yeah, so basically, Oh, another thing you can do is redirect the anger and the sadness. So if you are really angry and sad, rather than being submissive about it um, and being like kind of grieving and stuck in that sadness and, and just, yeah, like feeling you can't do anything about it, see if you can do something to redirect it. Um, for me, um, I... I like this idea of um, helping other people, so I'm redirecting it into these videos. I'm also redirecting it into my art, my purpose, and my mission. So, um, and also redirecting that into my self-care and who I want to be and how I want to show up in the world. And so by doing that, you're giving yourself self-love. So I know this is hard. Um, if you are going through this, I know it's hard. If you've gotten ghosted, it's not fun, not pleasurable, especially if you have background trauma related to attachment. I know it's hard. Um, and I know it's also hard to accept and to get closure. So anyway, I hope you found value in this. If you did, um, please like and subscribe. And um, I hope to see you for more videos. Thank you.